Joe Biden yesterday announced new executive action on the border in hopes to counteract or balance his first executive action, which allows for the border to be shut down if it exceeds a certain number of crossings daily, something that is very likely to be blocked in court as asylum claims are protected under U.S. and international law. But this second executive action is set to protect undocumented immigrants from being deported who are married to U.S. citizens, as well as protect those undocumented immigrants' children or children whose one parent is a citizen which is expected to give protection to around 500,000 families and 50,000 children, something that is an amazing decision if you ask me and provides sweeping relief to Biden's left-wing constituency that didn't want him feeding into Trump's horrendous border policies. And in announcing this, Biden gave a fiery speech where he also managed to strike at Trump for those inhumane policies. We have to acknowledge that the patience and goodwill of the American people is being tested by their fears at the border. They don't understand a lot of it. These are the fears my predecessor is trying to play on when he says immigrants, immigrants, and his words are poison the blood of the country. When he calls immigrants, in his words, animals. When he was president, he separated families and children at the border. And now he's proposing to rip spouses and children from their families and homes and communities and place them in detention camps. He's actually saying these things. It's hard to believe it's being said, but he's actually saying these things out loud. It is shocking how mask off Trump has been since 2016 and the way he's managed to invigorate his base into feeling like it's okay, mostly by preying on their fears or even bigotry at that point and into their ignorance, mostly about the benefits that immigration brings. Plus, if we truly wanted to stop immigration, the answer is in sanctions. Remove the sanctions from countries that have high migration levels because those sanctions impoverish them. Cuba, Venezuela, the list goes on. People largely come here because of economic turmoil that we have caused in their home country. You have to think about it. People don't want to leave their homes. They leave their homes when they feel like they're forced to. And if we're contributing to the factors that make them feel like they're forced to, they're obviously going to be more likely to leave. And you can look at countries with you as sanctions, there's higher level of violence, higher level of poverty, all the reasons that are also the top polled reasons for people migrating. And also building a wall historically has never stopped anyone. That's kind of just a stupid idea. But even furthermore, once immigrants are here, they provide massive economic stimulus. They pay millions into social safety nets. They commit crimes at much lower levels than U.S. born citizens. They have similar employment levels to U.S. born citizens. It kind of just boils down to Trump not liking black or brown people and his base being willing to follow him all the way into bigotry. I'm not interested in playing politics with the border or immigration. I'm interested in fixing it. I said it before. I said it before and I'll say it again today. I will work with anyone to solve these problems. That's my responsibility as president. That's our responsibility as Americans, because the simple truth is there's not a single damn thing we can't do if we put our minds to it. We've got to remember who in the hell we are. We're the United States of America, and nothing is bound our capacity. We're a nation of immigrants. And that's who we are. God bless you all, and may God protect our forces. Thank you. And for Trump, it largely is political. He doesn't have any policies or administration successes he can run on, but he can run on the fear that he stokes about the border. But if it's such an issue and he really wants it fixed genuinely for Americans, but not just something he can run on, why did he direct Republicans to shoot down the border bill that Republicans helped craft that gave Republicans more of their ass, fed into more of their ass than has ever been done by Democrats when discussing border legislation? Oh, it's because he knows if he did that, he'd have nothing to campaign on. Biden would then have another accomplishment. And all Trump is worried about is his electability. After all, border crossings doubled in 2019. Trump didn't pass any new legislation. He didn't direct Congress to work on new legislation. He didn't pass any executive actions. He didn't even talk about it. He just kept on pretending that everything was dandy because first off, it's not the issue he pretends it is when he needs something to run on. So much so that everyday Americans wouldn't even know 
know most Trump supporters don't even know that happened because Trump didn't talk about it if Trump wasn't doing exactly that. And because, again, he only cares when he needs something to run on because he knows his achievements aren't going to get it done, Trump had the House and Senate for two years and never did anything on migration. Where is the wall that he said Mexico would pay for? Oh, he only built 54 miles because he was more focused on passing tax cuts for billionaires. When in reality, if we want to revamp the immigration system again, first is removing sanctions from countries with high levels of migration, then put more asylum judges to process these asylum claims, to process work visas, and make it easier for people to immigrate legally. Put more legal entry points. Stop allowing people to do like dr drive them to the legal entry points, allow them to get their asylum claims and their work visas processed faster than being put on like a 10 to 12 month delay. Some people are waiting multiple years. These are people who are ready to contribute to our society and do it while being upstanding members of it. But Republicans would rather fear monger. But I want you to think of it like this. If they're really flooding in as criminals and, and vermin or whatever rhetoric Trump wants to use to say they're dangerous, they're military age and all of this, why is the only name Republicans can mention about like horrendous actions that have happened from an undocumented immigrant, why is the only name Lake and Riley? Why is that after months and months and months, they have one name they can mention when I can list a hundred times that weekly that get killed by US born citizens. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together. Peace.